Hey guys, so in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about groups and how they can work for your lists. Now, the best way to think about groups is like this. Imagine you have a list called clients, okay? And within that list, you can create groups. So I can have a group called dormant clients, a group called current clients, and a group called potential clients. And I can send out a mailing list to different groups whenever I need to. So I've got a list called uh, clients, but I only want to send out this particular uh, newsletter to my current clients. So I can easily do that by creating groups. Now, there are kind of two ways that you can go around creating a group. So you can create a group and manually add people within that group, or you can create a form and get people to add themselves to the group. Now, you may be thinking, well, how, how is that going to work? Well, just imagine that you're a blogger and you send out regular newsletters to your subscribers, but you don't want to send regular newsletters to people who don't want to get regular newsletters all the time. So you can group your list into, well, do you want to receive daily uh, newsletters from me? Do you want to receive weekly newsletters or monthly newsletters or yearly newsletters? So they can add themselves to whichever group that they want to and you could send out the information according to what the list says. So there's all different creative ways in which you can use your list without you having to create multiple lists and multiple forms for you know just the one thing so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can create groups for your list so the first thing you want to do is head back over to lists make sure you choose the right list that you need click on the drop box and click on manage subscribers here it will give you a list of ways that you can uh, manage your subscribers right now we want to click group so let's click on that and here on this button we can create our first group now here it says how do you want this group to show up on your form you can show by check boxes radio buttons drop down or you could choose to not have this on my sign up form so for instance with my client example i probably don't want clients to know whether they are dormant or you know it's not going to make sense to them so i'm going to choose to not let this particular group show up on my form so let me check this button and then add the group details. Now I can click done for now and I have created my first group. So now let's go about putting subscribers into our group. Now there are a couple of ways which we can do this. The first way is we can click here where it says view groups and say if we have a bunch of dormant clients here, what we could do is we can import from, do you remember when we did the import feature before? We can import uh, from our list. So we can use a CSV, a text, etc., etc. Another way that we can add our subscribers is by clicking here where it says manage subscribers, click on view subscribers, and we can literally just check which ones we want. Click over to actions. And here there's a tab that says add to group and I can move all these people to my current client group okay so I'm gonna move a couple of these over let's say add to group these are dormant people and these guys are my potential Okay, so now if we go back to manage subscribers and groups, if we view our groups, you would see here we have two subscribers, four in current and three in potential. Now say if we change our minds about our groups and we want our clients to basically add themselves to this group. Now there's no way to edit that on this screen. The only way we can do that is via the actual sign up form itself. So let's click over to here where it says sign up forms and let's go to the general forms. Now as we scroll down, we would see a section here that says clients and it's got like this background overlay that says hidden. So if we just click here, 
You can see on the right hand side now it shows that this field is visible sorry it's not visible we can click here to make it visible and then click to save field we can also add other options on here as well so i can add an option of vip and that would be automatically added to the list if you choose that you don't want to use a checkbox for your fields, you might want to use a radio buttons or a drop down. You can literally click on the field and you could delete the field and then use a checkbox, sorry, use a drop down if you need to, or use any of the other fields to associate with your group. Okay. So now we have, now we know how to set up a group. We know how to add it to our form. Let's try and talk about segments. And that's going to be in the next tutorial. So stay tuned, subscribe. It's Diane here from The Design Creative. And I will see you on the other side.